Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'd like to remember at Mass today, Janet Thompson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you know, uh, I was thinking this morning, every time I make the sign of the cross, <laughs> I feel as though sort of God's putting a cloak around me in some way, you know? And... Uh, because it's not just on the cross, it's invoking the Father, Son, and Spirit. It's so almost being enveloped, really, you know, into the very life of God. So it's a wonderful introduction to prayer. And I do not understand why people who are not Catholics do not choose to sign the cross. Um, the most powerful of all, of all expressions and symbols. So the grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen. So let us humbly before God acknowledge and confess our sins. Lord, for a lack of trust in you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, for our impatience with you, Lord, that you don't do what we ask in the way we, we want you to. Christ of mercy. Lord, for all our failures in our lives, to love, to forgive, to show compassion. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. So this flows on from yesterday when P Peter and John healed the crippled man. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to Peter and John. When Peter saw the people, he addressed them. Why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power or holiness? You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead and to that fact we are the witnesses. And it is the name of Jesus 
which through our faith in it has brought back the strength of this man whom you see here and who is well known to you. It is faith in that name that has restored this man to health, as you can all see. Now, I know, brothers and sisters, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now, you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and so that the Lord may send time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that is, Jesus, whom heaven must keep till the universal restoration comes, which God proclaimed, speaking through his holy prophets. Moses, for example, said, the Lord God will raise up a prophet like myself for you from among your own brothers and sisters. You must listen to whatever he tells you. The man <clears throat> or woman who does not listen to that prophet is to be cut off from the people. In fact, all the prophets that have ever spoken from Samuel onwards have predicted these days. You are the heirs of the prophets, the heirs of the covenant God made with our ancestors when he told Abraham, in your offspring, all the families of the earth will be blessed. It was for you in the first place that God raised up his servant and, <clears throat> and sent him to bless you by turning every one of you from your wicked ways. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. What is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the work of your hands, put all things under his feet. How great is your name through all the earth. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, Lord our God, through all the earth. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples told the story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? Or why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. The joy was so great that they still could not believe it. And they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, While I was still with you, 
This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, So you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Look, is they conscious when he's writing both the, the Gospel and the Acts of the Apostles of, of a parallel in the ministry between them all? Um, I mentioned this yesterday about that first miracle, the miracle, uh, the healing of the crippled man. Anyhow, today's reading, first reading, goes straight on from there. Uh, and, it's the, and, and as with Jesus, certainly in John's Gospel, um, a miracle, a sign is performed, and that gives rise to the proclamation. And here we, we have it, this second sermon of Peter as Luke presented to us. And what does he emphasize? Remember he emphasized, he emphasized you must repent, be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Well, the emphasis, the emphasis also then, as is particularly here, is that everything is grounded in Holy Scripture. You are Israelites. And it's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus. The same Jesus to hand it over. You look at the gospel today, and what does Jesus do? After communicating his real risen presence, what does he do? He opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, so you see how it is written, that the Christ will suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. This emphasis upon the Christ who would suffer is very important because, as you know, um, some early Christians find it difficult to believe that Jesus, the Saviour, would have to suffer in the way that he did because crucifixion was so ignominious. But his concern to emphasize that it is all in the fulfillment of God's plan. It isn't as though Jesus has come out of the blue. He is the son of Abraham. And everything about him comes in scripture. Um, indeed, to come back to that, that first reading, you know, he is the one that the prophet spoke about. He said through all the prophets that his Christ will suffer. And so the proclamation has, you must repent. This is the first thing. You must repent, turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and the Lord will send the time of comfort. One of the descriptions of the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, is translated as the comforter. So this is another way of saying that the Spirit will come. So repent, turn to God, and the Spirit will come. Yes, and then he will send you, and he speaks then about the second coming of Christ, which is something that we, we don't pray for, but it should really be part of our prayer, that the Lord will really come in his fullness, put an end to the pain and suffering and anguish of the world, because it's only with that second coming of Jesus that all the anguish and injustice in our world will come to an end. So, my friends, he says, all the prophets that have ever spoken from Samuel onwards have predicted these days. And so he says, you are the heirs of the prophets. You are the heirs of the covenant God made with our ancestors. It was for you in the first place that God raised up his servant 
and sent him to bless you. And then why, how? By turning every one of you from his wicked ways. So this, the whole proclamation is a, a seeking to transform, that everybody be transformed, turned, beginning, remember the message that John the Baptist repent. Turn yourselves inside out. Let God penetrate into the innermost part of your being then you'll be open to God. Pray, Maranath, we pray, come, Lord Jesus. Only by your coming in glory will you put an end to the pain and the anguish and suffering of our world. So we ask you, Lord, to come with haste. In the meantime, Lord, we ask you to put an end to the anguish, the sufferings of the poor people of Gaza. Put an end to the world in Ukraine, the war in Ukraine. We ask you, Lord, to move the hearts of men of iron turn their hearts into hearts of flesh Lord in your mercy I'd like to pray for Pope Francis for, for all those whose mission it is to lead us in proclaiming the gospel I pray that God will raise up men and women who will really write and proclaim and really open up people's hearts to the beauty of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for all our sick friends. We pray for Jill Shaw. We pray for Bobby Connor, Claire, Maria Evans, Sheila Kane, Lil Borton, Marion Scully, Deidre Kelly, Peter Nash. Who else is ill you'd like to remember today? Maureen. 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 Morin will be will, will be following us very interestingly actually. I mean the Morin I saw at the doorstep yesterday looked absolutely brilliant. But she's still in pain. You know, and we'll be in pain for a while actually. And but she's still personality, the still beautiful woman. And uh, but Morin you need our prayer. You need God's healing. We made we need to make sure that that surgery is a total success. Anybody else you'd like to pray for? Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who have died. We pray for all those victims of violence, the victims of the wars. We pray for Dorothy Jones. You're saying to Pat before, we haven't had any funerals over each day, you know, and they're not planned. So that's really quite wonderful. But we pray for Dorothy. Is there anybody else? I'm going from here to You are? I'm going from here, from Liverpool to my friends are there in Cambridge, so I'm going to there. No, I'm not quite hearing that, Phil. 
You're leaving us, you're saying? Yes. Permanently? Yeah. Forever? Yeah. Oh, dear. But you know what, Phil? We were just praying for people who had died, and you stand up and say, I'm going forever. <laughs> you know? Uh, but, no, if, I'm not forever, because somebody like you, Phil, would be meeting again. Don't you think? Yes. You're not just going out of our lives like that, Phil. I, I, I didn't quite hear where you were going to. You're going to study in Cambridge, are you? No, 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 my friends are there, so I'm just going to the, because I just need a change from here. You're moving to Cambridge. We must have a word. We, we pray to the Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dearest God, listen to our prayer, which we offer to you, Lord, with faith in our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That's come as a shock, Phil, actually. You know, it's totally out of the blue. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. So I pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the ordinance to the praise and glory of his name. For our will and our good situation. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial offerings we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in the hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator and you spoke in your words to us and calls us to follow him. He is the way that leads to you, the truth that sets us free and the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, by the power of his glorious resurrection, you gather men and women 
whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of Christ and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now and for ages and ending, with all the angels we proclaim your glory, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm, our bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. We pray to the Father in the word that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us greet each other with the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have yeah. mercy yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and blessed are those who are called to the Lord's table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you with all my heart and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul that I may be united with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the renewal of our parish. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, mould us, fill us, use us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God keep you safe. God bless your day. Let us go with Christ in our hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia.